What is up everyone and welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid 2, The Sons of Liberty. I am stuck in a locker just now. We are defusing bombs on all six of the struts in strut number one. I think it's strut one or something. Okay, enough of that. Um... This is not how I usually play this game. <laughs> I'm so sure I usually have an M9 by this point. All right, sir. Because you've been naughty. You're going in the naughty locker. Thanks very much. Okay, um, I can't believe, oh, there's the node. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay. Ha, right. No problem. So hopefully, he has learned his lesson and enjoys the naughty locker for as long as he needs to be there. I need to stop getting my butt kicked. I need to eat a ration in a minute. Okay, so <laughs> we're through that area. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, this one. Okay. Look how quickly the grip level goes down. That's insane. Oh, please stay there, because I'm gonna fall otherwise. No. Of course he's coming back. Turn around, turn around. Dokies. Strut A pump room. Mmm, I have the note in this one. So I think. Since when was there a guy in here? Oh my god. This is not how I remember it. See, when I was younger, I must have played this on an easier difficulty. Because I'm not remembering, like, all these guys being here. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay. Right. Perfect. So what is that? We've done four of six. Still no sign of an M9. Uh-uh. It's not good, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's not good. Okay, let's get on out of here. It's not in any of those. Where in the heck? 
I don't know. I have absolutely no idea where I would get the M9. Hello? Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Weird. What a weird coincidence. Okay. Ah, shoot. Right, well, I'm gonna have to take this thing out. Okay, so where is this guy? Is he coming back up? Yeah! Oh, I could have made that. I totes could have made that. Right, go back down again, please. Thank you. You'd think that they would hear me. No? I don't know. I feel like they would easily be able to hear me. There's a ration. I like this room. Nothing here. Oh! 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 I'm so happy. I am so happy. You guys have no idea. This let's play just got even. Has he moved? Okay, I gotta wait for this guy to come back, I think. Because I don't have the node in this area. I think it's down the stairs. Come on.
been all like, yay, I got the M9, everything's gonna be so much better. And then it turns out that there's someone right next to me. Can I get down here, actually? Oh! Maybe I should have just gone this way. Come on. Come on, caution. Send them all back. This is Raiden. I just finished disposing of the C4 in strut F. Found explosives on B1. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay, it'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into Shell 2 in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh. So many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. 
No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg, Peter. He's gone for good. Oh man. Gets me every single time. I actually, like, I feel bad for him. You imagine having to live with that knowledge that you did that? The kid. Right, let's just get this node. Did I just run? I didn't just run past someone. No way. Oh god. Um, I didn't think they were gonna come so fast. Well, uh. Situation is normal. All clear. Nothing here. Mind detector. Nice. We got some M9 bullets. Got some SOCOM through there, but I don't need them. Okay, so I think I've done absolutely everything I can do in this area. So we have one more bomb to defuse. We have an M9. Okay, so we are in such a better position right now. I'm so happy. <gasps> ah. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mind detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. What does, um, burst transmission mean? Okay. So 
So let's just go ahead and pick these up. It's a good job that I literally just picked up the mind detector just then. Oh my god. You're choking! That was so unfair. No. No! Oh my god! pick up some claymores and uh that was close <laughs> oh i have been spotted so many times today unbelievable unbelievable i was doing so well yesterday as well to not get spotted oh, i don't have a node Note. Oh, I could have got that anyway before I even shot the guy. Ah, right, we're on to the last bomb, which if I recall is actually up here. I'm gonna get some rations on. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance.
I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shop. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. You guys remember Olga's character? If you've forgotten Olga, I have to ask if you were paying attention at the tanker scenario. Olga's actually one of my favorite characters. Oh, we got some more bad guys around here. So if you hit them in the head, they go down pretty much straight away. But if you hit them in the body, you have to wait like a little bit. This one's really awkward, if I remember. C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the Strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left, but if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. OK. I'll stand by until you radio in. All right, so that is us done, all six. I'm stuck. Thank you very much. I actually just cannot get over how beautiful this game looks. You got no goodies for me. None at all. What is wrong with you? Yep. I would have liked to have thrown one of them off the edge. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Not as good as my judo kick, though. Uh-oh. The Spartan kick. That auto-aim, though. My goodness. I was miles away. And it completely, like, auto-aimed me there. Right, so where am I going? Back into the pantry. So I need to go two shell struts across. And make my way there. So now that I've got the M9, I'm starting to wonder if I should have put this game on a harder difficulty. I don't know. Like it's not too bad. It's on normal at the moment, but it's not too bad. I've never played this game on hard before, but I can't help but feel like I would manage, actually. I always tend to be very hard on myself because I always think that I'm not very good at games, and then there come some games that I'm actually not bad at. Okay, let's get rid of him. Ooh. 
There's somebody there. Thank God these guys have short sight. Whoop. There's so many bugs next to that door. And I have no idea why. Okay, so it's actually... Oh, there is. Oh, there is. Hello. Yeah, these guys have short sight. <laughs> You'd think that they would manage to see me, but apparently not. Yeah, speaking of bugs, we had so many midges yesterday and I don't even know where they were all coming from because they were somehow getting in. Oops. I had all my windows and everything closed. It was crazy. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right, move! Get to the bottom of strut A now! Damn it! All right, I got this. I got this. 400 seconds, easy. As long as there's no crazy amounts of enemies hanging about. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Hello. That thing did not want to die. Three hits on those, by the way. Three. Um, I'm gonna use a ration. There we go. Just so I can feel safe again. Uh, oh. Huh? It's like I definitely got him just then. Whoop. Oh, what? I was trying to go through the door doing that. Not touch the door doing that. Yep. See, when I started playing this game... Uh, yesterday, whenever it was, I was like... The controls on this game are so awkward because you aim with R1 and then you fire with X or square, whatever you want to call it on Xbox. Um, I just fell up the stairs. Excuse me, birdies. All right, let's go down and find this bomb. I don't remember exactly where it is, actually. Right, Pliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can.
really tragic. I never expected that would happen to Stillman. Ooh. Yes, I will take that and I will also take that. Ah. Unlike the first game, this game is very generous with the amount of ammo it gives you. Okay, so where is this bomb? I think it's usually under... Is it not usually under this? Um... I'm not sure where it is, hold on. Is it under there? I mean... Hard to see. Oh, it is under there. Can I reach that from here? Got it. Whew. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel. Any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the President. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Alright guys, unfortunately that is all I got time for in this episode of Metal Gear Solid 2. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!